so now we've explained kind of this whole box and whisker. And if you didn't have any outliers, that's all that you would have. But here we have these outliers. So then the next question is, well, what does it mean to be an outlier? Now, this description of an outlier is somewhat arbitrary. We're doing somewhat of a heuristic here to say, okay, what, what would make a number outside the general range? We're, we're going to determine it is an outlier. Remember, outliers are really important because like, uh, for example, if you were trying to determine the average wealth of somebody in a particular group and you had one individual who happened to be a billionaire in it, then that billionaire is going to pull up the average of the entire group. It'll look like everybody looks a lot uh, more wealthy than they are because that outlier could possibly skew the data greatly depending on you know what the data set is looking at. So we have to be careful of the outliers. So interquartile range, this is the IQR. This is going to help us to determine the outliers. We're going to we're going to just take uh, the quartile three minus quartile one. So this is going to help us to determine where, where they're coming up with these outliers. So if we take quartile three minus quartile one, quartile three is the seven two eight hundred minus quartile one six nine seven hundred. The difference is that 3,100, which we're calling the interquartile range. The lower quartile uh, limit then is quartile one minus the IQR, the interquartile range times 1.5, which is somewhat arbitrary, right? So that's gonna be our calculation though. So we're gonna say, all right, that's what it's calculating. So now we're taking the Q1. So Q1 is, uh, well, let's do it. Let's do the the enter part first. The IQR, which is the three one zero zero times one point five uh, minus Q one minus uh, uh, Q one Q one minus six nine seven, and that gives us our sixty five fifty. So sixty five thousand fifty. So we're on the lower limit. So anything around that's kind of over this line, they're going to add in a dot uh, format. So that's going to be the outlier. And then down here, we have a similar calculation for that upper limit where we have the quartile three plus the uh, IQR, the interquartile range times 1.5. So if I take the IQR, the three one, times 1.5 and then and then i'm going to add it this time to q3 so plus q3 72800 that gives us our 77450 which means that if anything's above like the 77 somewhere around here it's going to put a dot on them so that's why these two are outline. There's the 55 outlier, the 84, the 80 are going to be on the other side, 80 and 84 as outliers in our data. All right. And then just note that you in Excel, it's possible to like line up uh, two box plots on on one chart. So so if we had two sets of data, similar sets of data, basically we've just like added added a constant amount uh, to the second data range. And now just note that you can do a nice visual comparison between the two sets of data, right? I can say, okay, this one compared to that one, and we can get an idea of the averages and the medians and so on, and what kind of outliers. These ones happen to mirror each other very closely, but just staggered due to the fact that I created the second data list by just basically taking the first times like 1.1 1 .1 or something. And then you can make your legend uh, on the right hand side. So notice when you get comparison of multiple data sets like this, then seeing it visually uh, will probably give you a much better understanding than even if you were to list your stats. Like you might say, hey, look, to list those two data sets, I'll just list my stats side by side. That's helpful, but it's still a little bit hard to see, right? If you had these two kind of next to each other, then that gives you a pretty good representation uh, about what's happening. I mean, if I looked at, for example, if I looked at the stats side by side for the average, the uh, Q1, Q2, Q3, and so on and so forth, I might not get an idea that it looks like that it looks like the data set has just been basically 
multiplied by like 1.1. But if I look at this, I can say, hey, that looks pretty symmetrical. <laughs> and it and it moved up like the, the same and the outliers moved up in alignment with it. You know, you, so you see how the pictorial representation could give you an idea beyond the stats oftentimes or beyond the data set itself.